Today I am doing a preview of Masters of Charms from Brick House Games, game design and art by Rick Howe. This is a prototype and does not reflect the final version of the game. You will be moving through portals in the load to collect gems. Now what are you going to be doing with those gems, you ask? You'll be crafting some charms for points, but be careful because other players may be going for the same gems as you. Let's go ahead and open up the box and see what's inside. We have our roll book, our load cards which have the gems on them, the portals, merchants which you can buy to help you in the game, reference card, and in this baggie we have our Mr. Gems which are the little pink dudes, our um, gold tokens, and victory points as well as our little gnome meeples, the little yellow guy. The main actions you'll be taking in the game is moving through portals to collect gems. So I'm going to use this little two spotter portal. I'm going to move two spaces, put a Mr. Gem on the portal and collect my gem. Now the goal while you are moving is to collect gems so you can craft charms. And you have this handy dandy little reference sheet will show you how you can build charms and score points. During the game, you will also be able to buy merchant cards that can really kick up the gameplay. As soon as a player cannot complete two actions, the game ends. You score points in a few different ways. Every charm you crafted and sold during the game, you get three victory points. You get one victory point for every 10 gold you have, and eight Mista Gems yield one victory point. You also have a hidden mastery card that will yield you some bonus victory points at the end of the game. It is now time for my final unicorn thoughts on Masters of Charms. This is a very visually appealing game. Beautiful colors, design, and the layout. When I first looked at this, I was like, ooh, that's pretty. So that was definitely something that for me matters. Definitely. Um, I enjoyed having to collect gems and working towards different sets. I like that there were options on different sets that I was working towards as well. And I like that you can see your opponent's hand while you are playing. That made it easy for me to strategize to make it harder for them to complete their sets. And I really like the hidden mastery card. It was a fun way for me to secretly earn more victory points because the other opponents don't see what you have. Um, scoring is easy to understand and quick to do. That matters to me a lot. I like it when it's easy. Um, so I super recommend this game. It's easily appropriate for all age groups, easy to learn, fun to play, and it's beautiful.